Welcome to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, a game that has become such a special part of all-star festivities. And that's really because it, it always provides us with such an entertaining look at the next generation of, of NBA stars. In a game like this where the pressure's off and it's all about having fun, I think we really... see just how skilled these young players are exactly i mean nobody's going to get on top of you if you go behind your back or you try something out of the ordinary and that means we get to see these young guys pull off some amazing plays in this game every year and now the opening lineup for team world they've got a chua and it's garuba in at the four I love this event so much because it combines the world-class ability of these players with the freedom of the playground. Yep, it's the greatest and certainly the most fun pickup game these players will ever play in. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. And there's no question he was going to be playing in this game because as far as a first or second year player goes, he's about as impactful as any in the league. That's exactly right. I mean, he's quickly become one of his team's most important players. For most guys, that can take years, but it's happened really fast for him. Wagner, not enough on that one as it misses. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Here's Wagner following the basket by LaMelo Ball. Wagner passes to Garuba. Good ball movement here by Team World. Team World with another miss. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. And it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. MV deciding where to go with it. Trills the three-pointer. You brought the big stage. These young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Passes it to Garuba. Campazzo covered by MP. Shot clock at five. Team World digs to get off a shot. And it's Wagner missing. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Ball with the bucket. It's not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Campazzo covered by MP. Wagner passes to Campazzo. Good on the triple. Finally, after all those planks, someone comes through for him. Well, you knew it eventually was going to happen. I mean, my goodness, a tight start to this one. But maybe that'll ignite some more buckets to be made. And the shot goes in. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. The pass to Wagner. Here's Achua. Shooting USA. foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. Team First World shooting foul. their initial free throws of the game right here. The line for Team World. Probably, probably a little Precious. draft a in two. the arena tonight. Two. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that match. Now here's MP. A nice shot by Mobley. Mobley's got six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. To Giddy. 
Now, Wagner, he's defended by Bay. Here's Giddy. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass the ball. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Compasso, the pass to Wagner. Ball's not loose. Tries to keep it alive. Out of bounds, it'll be USA's ball. And USA with some changes. Stewart comes in for Mobley. And it's Suggs in for ball. USA leading by 14. Passes it to Bay. He kicks it to Weisman. On the wing, MP. Buries the long-range jumper. MP's got his second bucket. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Suggs with a steal. Now, MP. Six points for him. Inside. And finished off by Weissman with the shot. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came team out with guns blazing. And Team World calls time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And USA with some changes. Tillman, he's checked in for Wiseman. And it's McDaniels in for Bay. The pass to Melodon. That's tipped. Now, here's Sun. He's covered closely. And out of bounds is Team World gains possession. Here's Duarte looking to end the run and rebounded by McDaniels. Now, here's Sucks. Two minutes USA moving Two the ball minutes. around. Back to MP. And here is McDaniels. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Pass to Melodon. Shot clock at six. Launches a three. It's hauled in by USA. McDaniels passes to MP, and MP throws it down. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Kaminga the pass to Shengu. Shoots it. Out of bounds, it'll be USA's ball. USA ball. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. MP outside. Right wing for three. And there's Suggs on the assist by MP. MP's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Now, here's Melida, covered by MP. Now, here's Melida. No points in the game yet for him. Five to shoot. Out left to the wing. Here's Duarte. And he overshot that one, missing. Good if it goes. 
No good there. We're at the end of the first quarter, and what a blowout already in this one. USA ahead, delivering the blowout. And we're glad to have you all. Substitution. Completely new group for USA. Team World making some changes. And you know, the officials not Jason giving their whistles Weisman. much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. So Team World's five right now. They've got Wagner, and it's Giddy in at the two. And when you get this kind of shooting from him, 100% from the field, they're going to be tough to beat. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Ball. And here we go. MP heading to the hoop. He gets that one. MP's got 10. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for USA. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Composo, the pass to Wagner. Now, here's Achua. He's covered by Wiseman. Achua kicks to Wagner. Down to five on the shot clock. Composo and misses it off the right side of the rim. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Here's Ball. Here's MP. Rebound by Team World. That is foul. some tough defense there against MP. one of the better finishers in our game. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Campazzo covered by MP. Over to the left wing to stop the run. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard, guys, they really could have used this contribution. From outside the arc, another three for USA. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Composo. Two minutes left, two. Passes to Garuba. Five on the clock. Fades. That misses, and he's 0 for 4. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Giddy, no good. Enzo, MP, will bring it up for USA. Here's Weitzman. Nice fake with the layup off the mark. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And MP throws it down. scary when MP is going off like this. His adrenaline starts flowing, the teammates getting pumped, and then it's like a runaway train. Here's Giddy. He's covered by Ball. And Giddy gets it to go. Giddy has gone two of four from the field. Ball kicks to MP. Fires the three. Connects from three-point range. 
MP's got 10 points now just in this quarter. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. And now Ball pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Two points. And not help but to love the court sense and the vision. That's a terrific find by MP. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. Hooked away and stolen by MP. Oh, and there's the alley. It's deflected. And so it looks like it's still a Los ball. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. Five seconds left in the second quarter. Let's the three fly. And the buzzer, Peter! And how about that triple to put a cap on their run here going into the break. Finish that half on a big-time roll. A dominating first half of basketball. And... Space behind the arc. And then bury some threes. So you as a nothing like it, folks. The All-Star festivities in the end. Kevin Holland here with partners Mark Kimmel and Greg Anthony. Tonight, the best shooters in the NBA battle it out in the three-point contest. It's time to find out which player has what it takes to beat the clock and his opponents. This is all about concentration, guys. You get on the roll, lock into that rhythm. That's what you try to do here. Absolutely, and the crowd is completely behind you, unlike when you play a game and, and sometimes they're with or a... And here we go with MP. There's no time to waste in this competition. The clock is ticking, and it's ticking fast. Yeah, but, but as a shooter, you don't want to keep peeking at the clock in between shots. You've got to keep that time in your head. Starting to get a rhythm. I was six. And he's in a good rhythm right now. He's got 10. He's got 12. Nice job there. That's two good racks in a row. Chalk it up. His fourth in a row. He's got 16. Yes. Oh, how about the soft release? Three good racks in a row. Shooting it well. Getting a roll going. Up to 22. He's got 23. One rack left. And now 24. He's at 25. Now at 26. That's four in a row now. And he runs it up to 29 points. Well, how about that performance, guys? Man, nice work. I think things are so much easier when a shooter gets off to a good start, and he certainly did that. Here we go with James Harden. When Harden came into the league, people were unsure if he'd be able to shoot with range in the NBA. He started out a little slow, but he's become quite the score and sharpshooter. A lot of people thought that would be the case. It was just a matter of when. You can't let misses get to you here. There's no time to... He's able to total 21 points in the round. Now that's how you do it. Outstanding focus throughout the round. Yep, he did exactly what he needed to. If he had a target number in mind, I think he passed it. Yeah, I would think so. I'm sure he's more than happy with that score. So it's Luka Doncic ready to go. You know, I feel like guys sometimes start to drift off mentally deep in the round. And, and that's a very good point. Your ability to focus and maintain some consistency with your rhythm oftentimes determines who wins and who loses. Fantastic. Now, 14. He's feeling it. Look at that. Six straight. And his score comes in at 28. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. Yeah, that was a styling and profiling finish. He buried his last eight. Here we go with Damian Lillard. And he's got to score 21 or higher to stick around. Going to take some major sharpshooting to come close to beating that fella. Three down. Now with four. He's got five. Oh, he's feeling it. 
He hits the 20 mark on the nose. Ordinarily, that'd be good enough, but there are some great scores, guys, out there today. And so we'll see Stephen Curry. And if you look at the numbers through the first part of his career, there is no doubt in my mind Steph Curry will end up being the greatest shooter in the history of this game. Just amazing to watch him shoot. You know, this is really a very unique experience for the participant. You're on your own out there. Nobody can help you. And every eye in the arena is focused on you. And no question, it's a lot of fun to be in a situation like that. But, but you're right, it is a very different experience than they get a any regular night in the NBA. Oh, this is beyond belief. What a streak. Well, guys, you know, shooting threes is in his genes. Great round from Steph Curry. Five big points on that rack. An impressive 35 points for him. What? What an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was it was going to be special. Yeah, it got out of control for a while there. One shot after another just continued to fall. He could be as deadly as they come. So here we go with Zach Levine. It can be a big advantage going. And he pulls 24 for the round. I think he's pretty unlucky. He was good, but a few other players were great. Curry's got to be pretty happy about his performance in the first round as it has him looking very, very good for the finals. And just amazing scores up. So it's Luka Doncic ready to go. He squeaked into this round with the lowest qualifying score so far. He's the first one to go in this one. After absolutely lighting it up in the qualifying round, let's see what kind of encore he can give us in the finals. And guys, if it's anything close to his output in that round, it could be one of the all-time great three-point contest performances. He's got eight. He's got nine. Yep. That's his fifth consecutive make. Now to 15. Now with 17. Three good racks in a row, shooting it well. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Really a pretty shot right there. Up to 22. Now he's got it going. An impressive 35 points for him. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. And some guys are fast starters, and some are fast finishers. And with the fantastic way he closed that round, I think we know which one he is. And here we go with MP. And he's in his rookie season making his shootout debut. You know, the importance of getting into a rhythm early can't be understated. I mean, it's not a make one, miss one kind of deal. You need to get on a roll. You're on point there. I mean, ebbs and flows are not a good thing in the three-point contest. It's all about being steady. Too much ground to make up here, Clark. He's done. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. Out of here. Yeah, and you do your best. Sometimes, though, the competition can just be a little tough. So here's Curry now. Well, back to Curry. What is crazy is that he puts up all that he does while being one of the few who can. And that wraps up this year's thrilling three-point contest. It was an absolute clinic in three-point shooting from this year's champion, Luka Doncic. Such terrific sharp shooting on display. You never know who's going to take the crown. And the crowd here just... Loving it, guys. I mean, we got a game in all the sports, in my opinion. We have the best players in the NBA at the peak of their powers. I mean, I can't wait to see what this year's game has in store for us. Now we'll look at the West All-Stars starting lineup. They've got LeBron James. Jason Tatum is out there with Durant. Then there's Doncic. And it's MP in at the two guard. And for me, this is always one of the best weeks of the year. So much fun for everyone involved. Fans, players, coaches. What a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. An all-star week is one great show after another.
Well, I think, as is always the case, the story of the game tonight won't have a lot to do with defense. That's the way it always is. I mean, a half-court alley-oop or a spectacular behind-the-back pass, that's exactly what the people want to see in this game. And fans and celebrities alike have descended on this town for All-Star Week. There's been a bunch of fun events going on all over the place. Out, and, Greg, it's like that every year. I mean, no matter what city is hosting, it becomes a mecca for everyone who wants to take in one of the greatest scenes in all of sports. Not only to watch the best players, but to be seen by the other stars in the crowd. And the East All-Stars decide to take their first time out here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Leonard finds Beal. Shot clock at five. Good defense by MP. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. And yes, it's good. In the first half of his season, boy, how special has it been? He has been on a rampage. Yeah, and he's got tremendous talent. And when he's fully healthy and engaged, I mean, he's really impossible to stop. That's what we've been seeing this year from him. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. The three for Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got three assists in the game. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Kevin Doc Rivers gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. I asked him how hands-on he was planning to be, and he said, not much. He told me, it's fun to coach these guys to see what I can generate out of certain matchups, but that's Bradley more the Beal. exception than the rule. I think I'll be First as much of a spectator foul. as anyone. Guys? Thanks, David. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. A three from MP. Hits the three-point five. MP's got his second basket of the night. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. And Leonard gets it to go. Not much in the way of defense being played here early on. Well, you know how it works. I mean, both teams will be conserving their energy at the defensive end until later on. That's typically how this thing unfolds. Oh, great ball movement there. And here are the East All-Stars now. It's a 10-point game. Embiid against KD. Harden, that's good. And this game literally has been wide open. As wide open as it gets. <laughs> yeah, both teams completely neglecting their defensive duties. MP outside. To the middle. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by MP. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Pass to Towns. Heel up top. Five on the clock. No good on that one. Nice defense from KD. MP outside. KD against Leonard. Tatum trying to break free. Yep, it counts. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Leonard. Harden left side. Now the pass to Leonard. Harden outside. Back to Leonard. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by the West. And here's MP for three. Good. And the assist goes to Dungeon. MP's got 12 in the game. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. How do you stop this? I mean, it seems like they can't miss. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Phenomenal body control from Harden. Superb just knifing inside and forcing the defense to whack him. Stephen Curry's checked in for Bradley Beal. Jokic, he's checked in for the West. 
free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Curry with a wide open look from beyond the arc and then some. Yeah, that's getting it done from deep. That's what the All-Star game gives you, the freedom to show your full range. You know, taking that shot in a regular season game might get you a spot on the bench, but here, it gets you a standing O. And it's Jokic missing. And here's Curry who brings it up for the East All-Stars. Trailing by 10. Here's Towns and the dunk by Towns. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Now, here's MP. He's got 12. Knocks down the three ball. 15 points in the game. Yeah, D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Here's Curry. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Yeah, such a crafty move. That's an all-star game special right there, folks. That certainly isn't any regular season move. I agree with that. I mean, you save that kind of move for the big stage of the all-star week. Here's Leonard. And the rejection by James. Phenomenal work on defense. James using his athleticism to make a statement with that one. Feeds it to Curry. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Stephen Curry. Amazing how many players we're seeing come into the NBA, Clark, from all over the world right now. Well, it's truly a global game, Kevin, and give credit to former Commissioner David Stern and certainly Adam Silver and his staff. But the league is a global league. The star players have done a great job of promoting it as a worldwide game as well. Every year you get players from multiple continents, Asia, Africa, Europe, Australia. Basketball is, um, again, it's a global game, so it makes sense we'll see more players from all over the world in the NBA. Levine, a primetime threat to knock down those mid-range jumpers. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Lillard. Curry's got his third bucket of the night. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Oh! Now that's what these people came to see, just punishing the rim. Boy, that was tremendous. That will be worth some points in the dunk contest. And it's Lillard missing. 139 left in the first. Davis kicks to MP. Drains it from beyond the arc. And now it's a 12-point West All-Star lead. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. Curry outside. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. And the basket by MP. MP's got 20. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. Now here's Lillard. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Yes, that goes in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. It's clear that Davis loves to put on the show for the fans, and putting on the show is exactly what he's doing. Here's Lillard. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Well, you can't expect lockdown D in the All-Star game, especially in the first half. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Lillard against MP. 
17 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Jokic, and Jokic slams it in. One thing MP's always had is a great feel for the game. He doesn't need to see a pass like that. He just feels it. Lillard, count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Lillard's got his second basket of the night. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. It's the West All-Stars. They're up by nine. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Welcome back for the second quarter of the main event of All-Star Weekend. And guys, we've already seen some unbelievable action here tonight. And there will be plenty more to come. We know that. All-Star action never disappoints. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And the West All-Stars, looking at who they've got. Anthony Davis is out there with Vucevic. Then it's MP. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Middleton in at the three. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. And it's Levine that time on the assist by MP. MP's got six assists now in the game. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Al Lillard. Pass to Westbrook from 11 feet away. Good on that shot. And with that, the West All-Stars lead is cut down to just six points in the bucket from Lillard. Here's MP. High post, Davis. Middleton against Curry. Middleton outside. And here's MP for three. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. Tell you what, that last three got MP's attention. He does not hesitate to fire one right back at him. Gobert trying to get open. A shot by Curry. No good. And, and you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. And they pick up two. Boy, AD showing you how strong and willing to work he is because that was a difficult bucket there. Curry against Levine. Curry passes to Lillard. Six to shoot. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Lillard's got five points now this quarter. MP deciding where to go with it. Here's Davis. That shot off. The East All-Stars go the other way with it. MP kicks to Vucevic. Kicks it out to MP. Levine against Lillard. Outside Levine. He dishes it to Davis. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Two. Davis has got six. And they're forcing the ball inside. And it's working like a charm. And it's Curry with the ball. Bringing it up for the East All-Stars. East All 11-point game. And the East All-Stars call time here. MP really making a difference here. He's on another level right now. Yeah. Knocking down threes left and right. The defense isn't doing their job, and I think they've got to talk about it quickly. A big group substitution here for the East. Embiid, he's checked in for Gobert. Towns comes in for Sabonis. James Harden, he's checked in for Curry. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Damian Lillard. So an almost entirely new group now for the West. Kevin Durant's checked in for Vucevic. Tatum comes in for Anthony Davis. James checked in for Chris Middleton. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Levine. MP outside. 
fires the three. There he goes again. That's his ninth straight basket. He's a perfect nine for nine. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Now here's Beal. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Sinks the three-pointer. Here we go. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Beal against Doncic. The feed now to KD. He doesn't hit that one. Good D by Embiid. LeBron against Beal. Good on that shot. And with that, the West All-Stars lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Joel Embiid. Here's LeBron. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Embiid. When LeBron has it inside like that, I mean, it's almost impossible to stop. Worst case scenario, he's going to get himself to the foul line. Young's checked in for the East. Takes it from 10. That one off the back iron and out. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. The 11-footer, and he hits the jump shot. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas. And maybe not the most explosive player in the league, but Beal has the athletic ability to finish strong at the rim. MP outside. Nail from three-point land. MP's got 29. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. And stolen by MP. And here we go. Fast break. MP's got it. Here's Tatum. Towns with the defensive effort. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. To the wing on the left. MB dishes to Towns. Beal gets a wide open look. Offensive rebound. Good on that shot. And with that, the West All Stars lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from MB. The West All Stars with the ball. Passes it to MP for the three. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Young pass to Embiid. Harden with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Two on one as they jump out on the break. The pull up. Again, the West All-Star. Hey guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the West All-Stars. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on this player has caught him off guard. Playing airtight defense and coming up with the steal. And the other thing they've done well is they run the shooters off their sweet spots. Yeah. They've really closed out well and forced yeah. them to put the basketball on the floor. And the dunk by MP. A nice aggressive move to the basket there. They love to turn MP loose and just let him play an attacking branch of basketball. Poke loose. Pass to KD. Tatum trying to break free. The shot by KD. No good. Young best to Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. Embiid, what a show of force right there. Going hard at the rim for the dunk. Doncic finds Embiid. Doncic outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Doncic has got ten points. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. Towns against Tatum. Towns dishes to Young. Beal from long range. Hits it from three-point range. Beal's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And boy, has he come alive. Since the start of the second quarter, he has been fire. Well, he's capable of scoring from anywhere. Durant's size and touch make him a prime-time threat inside. Now, here is Young. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Two points. That one goes. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Embiid against Durant. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Eight points for him. How do you defend him any better than this? I mean, Durant, just an incredible score. Outside, Beal. Back to Young. The pass to MB Takes a three. MP grabs the miss. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the West All-Star. 13-point lead. Durant, no good. Young taking his time here. Harden finds Young over James. On defense, MP shows real dedication. He's not going to make it easy for you. And so it's MP making things happen for the West All-Stars. And... remaining in the NBA All-Star game. Keep you guessing defensively. Harden against MP. Harden kicks to Curry. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Curry's got 11 in the second half. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now, here's MP. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. MP's got 57 points. Leonard against LeBron. MP trying to break loose. And it's Leonard missing. And so, MP will bring it up for the West All-Stars. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. And it's Durant missing. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. And stolen by Tatum. Got it. Good job in the low post. Tatum. You got to do a lot more than that to stop Tatum. I mean, he's just too skilled and crafty and strong on these takes. And stolen by MP. And it's sent back by Leonard. And so it looks like it'll be still with the West All-Star. And some changes here for the East. The Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Embiid. Simmons comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for James Harden. The West All-Star is also changing it up. Vucevic checked in for Durant. Ando comes in for Jason Tatum. And Middleton subbed in for James. Yep, that one goes. You can trust Luka to make the most of a close shot. I mean, he won't waste a high percentage look most times. And that one's good. Westbrook. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. And there's the pass to MP. There's the three. Trains the three-pointer. MP's got 60. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist by Westbrook. Tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets old. Doncic against Westbrook. Doncic passes to MP. From 12 feet out, off on that one. So no problem for the West All-Stars as they get the win. And it's impossible to know what's going to happen in these games. The talent on both sides is always so strong. But tonight, the West seemed a little more comfortable playing together as a unit, and that's what earned them the win. You mentioned that all broadcast long, and sure enough, it came to fruition. That brings us to the conclusion of our all-star coverage. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. For Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan wishing you...